Single-member voting districts are represented by a single representative, regardless of population density. If districts have unequal population densities, the weight of a resident's vote varies depending on the district of residence. Consequently, in Reynolds v. Sims, the United States Supreme Court held that state legislative voting districts with significantly unequal populations violate the Equal Protection Clause. A few years later, in Avery v. Midland County, the court considered whether the same rule applies to local government districts. Midland County, Texas, was governed by the Midland County Commissioner's Court. The Commissioner's Court set the county tax rate, established the county budget, entered contracts on the county's behalf, appointed county-level officials, administered welfare services, and built roads and bridges. It had five members, one a county judge elected at large by all county residents, and the other representatives of four single-member voting districts. The four districts had vastly different population sizes. One district, which contained the county's only city, had a population of approximately 67,900. Each other district had a population of less than 1,000. Hank Avery, the city of Midland's mayor and resident in the largest voting district, sued the commissioner's court. Relying on Reynolds, he argued that the unequal district populations violated the Equal Protection Clause. In defense, the county argued that the commissioner's court was primarily an administrative body, not a legislative one, and that its work disproportionately impacted rural areas. The trial court held in Avery's favor, but the state appeals court reversed. The Texas Supreme Court reversed again, finding the districting plan unlawful. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.